The First Book of the Chronicles Adam, Shet, Enosh, Kenan, Mahalaleel, Yered, Henoch, Methuselah, Lamech, Noah, Shem, Ham, and Japheth. The sons of Japheth, Gomer, and Magog, and Marai, and Yavan, and Tubal, and Meshech, and Tiras. And the sons of Gomer, Ashkenaz, and Riphat, and Togarma. And the sons of Yavan, Elisha, and Tarshish, Kitim, and Doranim. The sons of Ham, Cush, and Mitzrayim, Put, and Canaan. And the sons of Cush, Seba, and Havila, and Sabta, and Raama, and Sabtecha. And the sons of Raama, Sheba, and Dedan. And Cush begat Nimrod. He began to be mighty upon the earth. And Mitzrayim begat Ludim, and Anamim, and Lehabim, and Naphtuhim, and Patrusim, and Kasluhim, of whom came the Philistines, and Kaphtorim. And Canaan begat Zidon his firstborn, and Het, the Jebusite also, and the Amorite, and the Girgashite, and the Hivite, and the Archite, and the Sinite, and the Arvadite, and the Zemarite, and the Hamathite, the sons of Shem, Elam, and Ashur, and Arphazad, and Lud, and Aram, and Uts, and Hul, and Geter, and Mesech. And Arphazad begat Shelah, and Shelah begat Eber. And unto Eber were born two sons. The name of the one was Peleg, because in his days the earth was divided, and his brother's name was Yoktan. And Yoktan begat Almodad, and Shelef, and Hatsarmavet, and Yera, Hadoram also, and Uzal, and Dikla, and Ebal, and Abimael, and Sheba, and Ophir, and Havilah, and Yobab. All these were the sons of Yoktan. Shem, Arphazad, Shela, Eber, Peleg, Reu, Serug, Nahor, Tera, Abram, the same is Abraham. The sons of Abraham, Isaac, and Ishmael. These are their generations, the firstborn of Ishmael, Nebaiot, then Kerer, and Advel, and Mibsam, Mishma, and Duma, Masa, Harad, and Tema, Yetur, Nafish, and Kerama. These are the sons of Ishmael. Now the sons of Keturah, Abraham's concubine, Shiber Zimram, and Yokshan, and Meran, and Midian, and Ishbak, and Shua, and the sons of Yokshan, Sheba, and Deran, and the sons of Midian, Epha, and Epher, and Henoch, and Abida, and Elda. All these are the sons of Keturah. And Abraham begat Isaac, the sons of Isaac, Esau, and Israel, the sons of Esau, Eliphaz, Reuel, and Yeush and Yalam, and Korah, the sons of Eliphaz, Teman, and Omar, Zephi, and Gatam, Kenats, and Timna, and Amalek, the sons of Reuel, Nahat, Tzera, Shama, and Mitza, and the sons of Seir, Lotan, and Shobar, and Zibion, and Anna, and Dishon, and Etzar, and Dishon, and the sons of Lotan, Hori, and Homam, and Timna was Lotan's sister, the sons of Shobal, Alian, and Manahat, and Ebal, Shephi, and Onam, and the sons of Zibion, Aya, and Anna, the sons of Anna, Dishon, and the sons of Dishon, Amram, and Eshban, and Itran, and Keran, the sons of Ezer, Bilhan, and Zavan, and Yakan, the sons of Dishan, Uz, and Aran. Now these are the kings that reigned in the land of Edom before any king reigned over the children of Israel, Bela, the son of Beor, and the name of his city was Dinhaba. And when Bela was dead, Yobab the son of Tzera of Botzrah reigned in his stead. And when Yobab was dead, Husham of the land of the Temanites reigned in his stead. And when Husham was dead, Harad the son of Bedad, which smote Midian in the field of Moab, reigned in his stead. And the name of his city was Avit. And when Herad was dead, Samla of Masraka reigned in his stead. And when Samla was dead, Shaul of Rehoboth by the river reigned in his stead. And when Shaul was dead, Baal Hanan the son of Achbor reigned in his stead. And when Baal Hanan was dead, Harad reigned in his stead. And the name of his city was Pai, and his wife's name was Mehetabel, the daughter of Metzahab. Harad died also, and the dukes of Adam were Duke Timna, Duke Alia, Duke Yeteth, Duke Aholibama, Duke Ela, Duke Pinon. Duke Kenats, Duke Teman, Duke Mipsar, Duke Magdiel, Duke Iram. These are the dukes of Edom. These are the sons of Israel, Reuben, Simeon, Levi, and Judah, Issachar, and Zebulun, Dan, 
Joseph and Benjamin, Naphtali, Gad, and Asher, the sons of Judah, Er, and Onan, and Shelah, which three were born unto him of the daughter of Shua, the Canaanitess. And Er, the firstborn of Judah, was evil in the sight of the Lord, and he slew him. And Tamar his daughter-in-law bore him Phares and Serah. All the sons of Judah were five, the sons of Phares, Hetzron, and Hamul, and the sons of Tzerah, Simri, and Etan, and Heman, and Kalkol, and Dara, five of them in all, and the sons of Karmi, Achar, the troubler of Israel, who transgressed in the thing accursed, and the sons of Etan, Azariah, the sons also of Hetzron that were born unto him, Yerameel, and Ram, and Kelubai, and Ram begat Aminadab, and Aminadab begat Nashon, prince of the children of Judah, and Nashon begat Salma, and Salma begat Boaz, and Boaz begat Obed, and Obed begat Jesse, and Jesse begat his firstborn Eliab, and Abinadab the second, and Shema the third, Nathanael the fourth, Radai the fifth, Otsem the sixth, David the seventh, whose sisters were Zeruiah and Abigail, and the sons of Zeruiah, Abishai and Joab, and Asahel, three, and Abigail bare Amasa, and the father of Amasa was Yeter the Ishmaelite. And Caleb the son of Hetzron begat children of Atzubah his wife, and of Yeriot. Her sons are these, Yesher, and Shobab, and Aron. And when Atzubah was dead, Caleb took unto him Ephrat, which bare him Hur. And Hur begat Uri, and Uri begat Bezalel. And afterward Hetzron went into the daughter of Machir, the father of Gilead, whom he married when he was threescore years old and she bare him Segub. And Segub begat Yair, who had three and twenty cities in the land of Gilead. And he took Geshur and Aram, with the towns of Yair from them, with Kenat, and the towns thereof, even threescore cities. All these belonged to the sons of Machir, the father of Gilead. And after that Hetzron was dead in Caleb Ephrata, then Abiah, Hetzron's wife, bare him Ashur, the father of Tekoa. And the sons of Yeramel, the firstborn of Hetzron, were... Ram the firstborn, and Buna, and Oren, and Otsem, and Ahia. Yeremael had also another wife, whose name was Atara. She was the mother of Onam. And the sons of Ram, the firstborn of Yeremael, were Maaz, and Yamin, and Eker. And the sons of Onam were Shammai, and Yara. And the sons of Shammai, Narab, and Abishur. And the name of the wife of Abishur was Abihel, and she bare him Ahban, and Molid and the sons of Narab, Seled, and Apaim, but Seled died without children. And the sons of Apaim, Ishi, and the sons of Ishi, Sheshan, and the children of Sheshan, Achlai, and the sons of Yara, the brother of Shammai, Yeter and Yonatan, and Yeter died without children. And the sons of Yonatan, Pelet, and Tzatza, these were the sons of Yeramael. Now Sheshan had no sons but daughters, and Sheshan had a servant, an Egyptian, whose name was Yarha. And Sheshan gave his daughter to Yarha his servant to wife, and she bare him Atai. And Atai begat Natan, and Natan begat Zabad, and Zabad begat Ephlau, and Ephlau begat Obed, and Obed begat Yehu, and Yehu begat Azariah, and Azariah begat Helets, and Helets begat Eleasa, and Eleasa begat Sisamai, and Sisamai begat Shalom, and Shalom begat Yekamiah, and Yekamiah begat Elishama. Now the sons of Caleb, the brother of Yeramael, were Mesha, his firstborn, which was the father of Ziph, and the sons of Marasha, the father of Hebron, and the sons of Hebron, Korah, and Tapua, and Rechem, and Shema. And Shema begat Raham, the father of Yorkoam, and Rechem begat Shammai. And the son of Shammai was Maon, and Maon was the father of Betsur, and Epha, Caleb's concubine, bare Haran and Motza, and Gatzeds, and Haran begat Gatzeds, and the sons of Yahdai, Regem, and Yotam, and Gesham, and Pelet, and Epha, and Sha'af. Ma'acha, Caleb's concubine, bare Sheber, and Tirhana. She bare also Sha'af, the father of Madmana, Sheva, the father of Machbena, and the father of Gibeah, and the daughter of Caleb was Achsa. These were the sons of Caleb, the son of Hur, the firstborn of Ephrata, Shobal, the father of Kiryat Yaarim, Salma, the father of Bethlehem, Haref, the father of Betgader, and Shobal, the father of Kiryat Yaarim, had sons, 
Haroah, and half of the Manahathites, and the families of Kiryat Ya'arim, the Ithrites, and the Puhites, and the Shumathites, and the Mishraites. Of them came the Tsareathites, and the Eshtaulites, the sons of Salma, Bethlehem, and the Netophathites, Atarot, the house of Yoab, and half of the Manahathites, the Zorites, and the families of the scribes which dwelt at Yabez, the Tirathites, the Shemaathites, and Suchathites. These are the Kenites that came out of Hamat, the father of the house of Rechab. Now these were the sons of David, which were born unto him in Hebron, the firstborn Amnon of Ahinoam the Jezreelitis, the second Daniel of Abigail the Carmelitis, Absalom the son of Maacah, the daughter of Talmai, king of Geshur, the fourth Adonia, the son of Hagit, the fifth Shephatiah of Abital, the sixth Ithraim by Eglah his wife. These six were born unto him in Hebron, and there he reigned seven years and six months, and in Jerusalem he reigned thirty and three years. And these were born unto him in Jerusalem, Shemaiah and Shobab, and Nathan and Solomon, four of Batshua the daughter of Amiel, Ibhar also, and Elishama, and Eliphalet, and Noga and Nepheg, and Yathia, and Elishama and Eliada, and Eliphalet nine. These were all the sons of David, beside the sons of the concubines, and Tamar their sister. And Solomon's son was Rehoboam, Abiah his son, Asa his son, Jehoshaphat his son, Yoram his son, Ahaziah his son, Yoash his son, Amaziah his son, Azariah his son, Yotam his son, Ahaz his son, Hezekiah his son, Manasseh his son, Ammon his son, Josiah his son. And the sons of Josiah were the firstborn Yohanan, the second Jehoiakim, the third Zechadiah, the fourth Shalom. And the sons of Jehoiakim, Jeconiah his son, Zechadiah his son. And the sons of Jeconiah, Asir, Salathiel his son, Machiram also, and Padiah, and Shenazar, Jechamiah, Hoshamah, and Nedabiah. And the sons of Padiah were Zerubbabel and Shimei. And the sons of Zerubbabel, Meshulam, and Hananiah, and Shelomit their sister, and Hashubah, and Ohel, and Berechiah, and Hasadiah, Yushab Hesed, five. And the sons of Hananiah, Pelatiah, and Josiah, the sons of Rephiah, the sons of Arnan, the sons of Obadiah, the sons of Shechaniah, and the sons of Shechaniah, Shemaiah, and the sons of Shemaiah, Hatush, and Igal, and Bariah, and Nearaiah, and Shaphat. 6. And the sons of Neariah, Elioni, and Hezekiah, and Atzrikam, 3. And the sons of Elioni were Hodiah, and Eliashib, and Paliah, and Akub, and Yohanan, and Daliah, and Anani, 7. The sons of Judah, Phares, Hetzron, and Carmi, and Hur, and Shobal. And Reiah, the son of Shobal, begat Yahat, and Yahat begat Ahumai and Lahad. These are the families of the Zorathites. And these were the father of Etam, Yezreel, and Ishma, and Idbash. And the name of their sister was Hazalelponi, and Penuel, the father of Geror, and Etzer, the father of Husha. These are the sons of Hur, the firstborn of Ephratah, the father of Bethlehem. And Ashur, the father of Tekoa, had two wives, Hela and Naara. And Naara bare him Ahutzam, and Hefer, and Temeni, and Ha'ashtari. These were the sons of Naara, and the sons of Hela were Zeret, and Yetzoar, and Etnan. And Kotz begat Anub, and Sobeba, and the families of Aharhel, the son of Harum. And Yabez was more honorable than his brethren, and his mother called his name Yabez, saying, Because I bear him with sorrow. And Yabez called on the God of Israel, saying, O oh, that thou wouldest bless me indeed, and enlarge my coast, and that thine hand might be with me and that thou wouldest keep me from evil, that it may not grieve me. And God granted him that which he requested. And Kelub, the brother of Shua, begat Meher, which was the father of Eshton. And Eshton begat Betrapha, and Pasea, and Tehina, the father of Irnahash. These are the men of Recha. And the son of Kenats, Otniel, and Seraiah. And the sons of Otniel, Hatat. And Meonatai begat Ophra. And Seraiah begat Yoab the father of the valley of Harashim, for they were craftsmen, and the sons of Caleb, the son of Yephuneh, Iru, Ela, and Naam, and the sons of Ela, even Kenats, and the sons of Yehalaleel, 
Zif and Zifna, Tiria and Asarael, and the sons of Etzra were Yeter and Mered and Efer and Yalon, and Sheber Miriam and Shammai and Ishba the father of Eshtemoa, and his wife Yehudia bare Yered the father of Geror, and Heber the father of Soho, and Yekuthiel the father of Zanoa, and these are the sons of Betiah, the daughter of Pharaoh, which Mered took, and the sons of his wife Hodiah, the sister of Naham, the father of Keliah the Garmite, and Eshtemoa the Machathite. And the sons of Shimon were Amnon, and Rimna, Benhanan, and Tilon. And the sons of Ishi were Zohet, and Benzohet. The sons of Shelah, the son of Judah, were Er, the father of Leka, and Laada, the father of Marasha, and the families of the house of them that wrought fine linen, of the house of Ashbeah and Yochim, and the men of Kotzebah, and Yoash and Saraf, who had the dominion in Moab, and Yashubilehem, and these are ancient things. These were the potters, and those that dwelt among plants and hedges, there they dwelt with the king for his work. The sons of Simeon were Nemuel and Yamin, Yarib, Tzera, and Shaul, Shalom his son, Mibsam his son, Mishma his son, and the sons of Mishma, Hamuel his son, Zakur his son, Shimei his son. And Shimei had sixteen sons and six daughters, but his brethren had not many children. Neither did all their family multiply like to the children of Judah. And they dwelt at Beersheba, and Moladah, and Hatzarshual, and at Bilhah, and at Etzem, and at Tolad, and at Bethuel, and at Hormah, and at Ziklag, and at Betmarkabot, and Hatzarsusim, and at Betperai, and at Sha'araim. These were the cities under the reign of David, and their villages were Etam, and Ain, and Rimon, and Tochen, and Ashan, five cities, and all their villages that were round about the same cities unto Baal. These were their habitations, and their genealogy, and Meshobab, and Yamlech, and Yosha, the son of Amaziah, and Yoel, and Yehu, the son of Yosibiah, the son of Seraiah, the son of Asiel, and Elioenai, and Yaakobah, and Yeshohiah, and Asiah, and Adiel, and Yesimiel, and Benaiah, and Tzitzah, the son of Shifi, the son of Alon, the son of Yediah, the son of Shimri, the son of Shemaiah. These mentioned by their names were princes in their families, and the house of their fathers increased greatly. And they went to the entrance of Gedor, even unto the east side of the valley, to seek pasture for their flocks. And they found fat pasture and good, and the land was wide and quiet and peaceable, for they of Ham had dwelt there of old. And these written by name came in the days of Hezekiah king of Judah, and smote their tents and the habitations that were found there, and destroyed them utterly unto this day, and dwelt in their rooms, because there was pasture there for their flocks. And some of them, even the sons of Simeon, five hundred men, went to Mount Seir, having for their captains Pelatiah and Neariah, and Rephiah and Uziel, sons of Ishi, and they smote the rest of the Amalekites that were escaped, and dwelt there unto this day. Now the sons of Reuben, the firstborn of Israel, for he was the firstborn, but forasmuch as he defiled his father's bed, his birthright was given unto the sons of Joseph, the son of Israel, and the genealogy is not to be reckoned after the birthright. For Judah prevailed above his brethren, and of him came the chief ruler, but the birthright was Joseph's. The sons, I say, of Reuben the firstborn of Israel were Hanoch, and Palu, Hetzron, and Carmi. The sons of Yoel, Shemaiah his son, Gog his son, Shimei his son, Micha his son, Reiah his son, Baal his son, Beera his son, whom Tiglat Pilneser, king of Assyria, carried away captive. He was prince of the Reubenites and his brethren by their families, when the genealogy of their generations was reckoned, were the chief Yeiel and Zechariah, and Bela the son of Atzatz, the son of Shema, the son of Yoel, who dwelt in Aroer, even unto Nebo and Baalmaon. And eastward he inhabited unto the entering in of the wilderness from the river Euphrates, because their cattle were multiplied in the land of Gilead. And in the days of Saul they made war with the Hagarites, who fell by their hand, and they dwelt in their tents throughout all the east land of Gilead. And the children of Gad dwelt over against them, in the land of Bashan unto Salcha, Yoel the chief, and Shaphan the next, and Ya'anai and Shaphat in Bashan. 
And their brethren of the house of their fathers were Michael, and Meshulam, and Sheba, and Yorai, and Yachan, and Tzia, and Heber. 7. These are the children of Abihail, the son of Huri, the son of Yaroah, the son of Gilead, the son of Michael, the son of Yeshishai, the son of Yahdo, the son of Butz, Ahi, the son of Abdiel, the son of Guni, chief of the house of their fathers. And they dwelt in Gilead in Bashan, and in her towns, and in all the suburbs of Sharon upon their borders. All these were reckoned by genealogies in the days of Yotam, king of Judah, and in the days of Jeroboam, king of Israel. The sons of Reuben and the Gadites, and half the tribe of Manasseh, of valiant men, men able to bear buckler and sword, and to shoot with bow, and skillful in war, were four and forty thousand seven hundred and threescore that went out to war. And they made war with the Hagarites, with Yetur, with Nephish, and Nodab. And they were helped against them, and the Hagarites were delivered into their hand, and all that were with them, for they cried to God in the battle, and he was entreated of them, because they put their trust in him. And they took away their cattle, of their camels fifty thousand, and of sheep two hundred and fifty thousand, and of asses two thousand, and of men an hundred thousand. For there fell down many slain, because the war was of God, and they dwelt in their steads until the captivity. And the children of the half-tribe of Manasseh dwelt in the land. They increased from Bashan unto Baal Hermon, and Senir, and unto Mount Hermon. And these were the heads of the house of their fathers, even Epher, and Ishi, and Eliel, and Atzriel, and Jeremiah, and Horaviah, and Yahdiel, mighty men of valor, famous men, and heads of the house of their fathers. And they transgressed against the God of their fathers, and went a-whoring after the gods of the people of the land, whom God destroyed before them. And the God of Israel stirred up the spirit of Pul, king of Assyria, and the spirit of Tilgat Pilneser, king of Assyria. And he carried them away, even the Reubenites, and the Gadites, and the half-tribe of Manasseh, and brought them unto Hala, and Habor, and Hara, and to the river Gotzan, unto this day. The sons of Levi, Gershon, Kohat, and Merari, and the sons of Kohat, Amram, Itzar, and Hebron, and Uziel, and the children of Amram, Aaron, and Moses, and Miriam, the sons also of Aaron, Nadab, and Abihu, Eleazar, and Itamar. Eleazar begat Phinehas, Phinehas begat Abishua, and Abishua begat Buki, and Buki begat Utsi, and Utsi begat Zerahiah, and Zerahiah begat Meraiot. Meraiot begat Amariah, and Amariah begat Ahitub, and Ahitub begat Zadok, and Zadok begat Ahimaaz, and Ahimaaz begat Azariah, and Azariah begat Yohanan, and Yohanan begat Azariah. He it is that executed the priest's office in the temple that Solomon built in Jerusalem. And Azariah begat Amariah, and Amariah begat Ahitub, and Ahitub begat Zadok, and Zadok begat Shalom, and Shalom begat Hilkiah. And Hilkiah begat Azariah, and Azariah begat Seraiah, and Seraiah begat Jehozadak. And Jehozadak went into captivity when the Lord carried away Judah and Jerusalem by the hand of Nebuchadnezzar, the sons of Levi, Gershom, Kohat, and Merari. And these be the names of the sons of Gershom, Libni, and Shimei. And the sons of Kohat were Amram, and Itzar, and Hebron, and Uziel. The sons of Merari, Machli, and Mushi. And these are the families of the Levites according to their fathers, of Gershom, Libni his son, Yahat his son, Tzima his son, Yoah his son, Ido his son, Tzerah his son, Yaatarai his son, the sons of Kohat, Aminadab his son, Korah his son, Asir his son, Elkanah his son, and Abiasaf his son, and Asir his son, Tahat his son, Uriel his son, Uzziah his son, and Shaul his son, and the sons of Elkanah, Amasai and Ahimot. As for Elkanah, the sons of Elkanah, Tsophai his son, and Nahat his son, Eliab his son, Yeroham his son, Elkanah his son, and the sons of Samuel, the firstborn Vashni, and Abiah, the sons of Merari, Mahli, Libni his son, Shimei his son, Utsa his son, Shimei his son, Haggaiah his son, Asiah his son, and these are they whom David set over the service of song in the house of the Lord, after that the ark had rest.
and they ministered before the dwelling place of the tabernacle of the congregation with singing, until Solomon had built the house of the Lord in Jerusalem. And then they waited on their office according to their order. And these are they that waited with their children. Of the sons of the Kohathites, Heman, a singer, the son of Yoel, the son of Shemuel, the son of Elkanah, the son of Yeroham, the son of Eliel, the son of Toa, the son of Zuf, the son of Elkanah, the son of Mahat, the son of Amasai, the son of Elkanah, the son of Yoel, the son of Azariah, the son of Zephaniah, the son of Tahat, the son of Asir, the son of Abiasaph, the son of Korah, the son of Itzar, the son of Kohat, the son of Levi, the son of Israel, and his brother Asaph, who stood on his right hand, even Asaph, the son of Barakiah, the son of Shemaiah, the son of Michael, the son of Baasiah, the son of Malchiah, the son of Etni, the son of Tzerah, the son of Adiah, the son of Etan, the son of Tzima, the son of Shimei, the son of Yahat, the son of Gershom, the son of Levi. And their brethren, the sons of Merari, stood on the left hand, Etan, the son of Kishi, the son of Abdi, the son of Maluch, the son of Hashabiah, the son of Amaziah, the son of Hilkiah, the son of Amtsi, the son of Bani, the son of Shamer, the son of Mahli, the son of Mushi, the son of Merari, the son of Levi. Their brethren also the Levites were appointed unto all manner of service of the tabernacle of the house of God. But Aaron and his sons offered upon the altar of the burnt offering, and on the altar of incense, and were appointed for all the work of the place most holy, and to make an atonement for Israel, according to all that Moses the servant of God had commanded. And these are the sons of Aaron, Eleazar his son, Phinehas his son, Abishua his son, Buki his son, Utsi his son, Zerahiah his son, Merayot his son, Amariah his son, Ahitub his son, Zadok his son, Ahimaaz his son. Now these are their dwelling places throughout their castles in their coasts, of the sons of Aaron, of the families of the Kohathites, for theirs was the lot. And they gave them Hebron in the land of Judah, and the suburbs thereof round about. But the fields of the city, and the villages thereof, they gave to Caleb the son of Jephunneh, and to the sons of Aaron they gave the cities of Judah, namely Hebron the city of refuge, and Libna with her suburbs, and Yatir, and Eshtemoah with their suburbs, and Helen with her suburbs, Debir with her suburbs, and Ashan with her suburbs, and Bethshemesh with her suburbs, and out of the tribe of Benjamin, Geba with her suburbs, and Alamet with her suburbs, and Anatot with her suburbs. All their cities throughout their families were thirteen cities. And unto the sons of Kohat, which were left of the family of that tribe, were cities given out of the half-tribe, namely out of the half-tribe of Manasseh, by lot, ten cities. And to the sons of Gershom, throughout their families, out of the tribe of Issachar, and out of the tribe of Asher, and out of the tribe of Naphtali, and out of the tribe of Manasseh in Bashan, thirteen cities. Unto the sons of Merari were given by lot, throughout their families, out of the tribe of Reuben, and out of the tribe of Gad, and out of the tribe of Zebulun, twelve cities. And the children of Israel gave to the Levites these cities with their suburbs, and they gave by lot out of the tribe of the children of Judah, and out of the tribe of the children of Simeon, and out of the tribe of the children of Benjamin, these cities, which are called by their names. And the residue of the families of the sons of Kohat had cities of their coasts out of the tribe of Ephraim. And they gave unto them of the cities of refuge, Shechem in Mount Ephraim with her suburbs. They gave also Gezer with her suburbs, and Yokmeam with her suburbs, and Bethoron with her suburbs, and Aelon with her suburbs, and Gatrimon with her suburbs, and out of the half-tribe of Manasseh, Aner with her suburbs, and Bileam with her suburbs, for the family of the remnant of the sons of Kohat. Unto the sons of Gershom were given out of the family of the half-tribe of Manasseh, Golan in Bashan with her suburbs, and Ashtarot with her suburbs, and out of the tribe of Issachar, Kedesh with her suburbs, Dabarat with her suburbs, and Ramot with her suburbs, and Anem with her suburbs, and out of the tribe of Asher, Mashal with her suburbs, and Abdon with her suburbs, and Hukok with her suburbs, and Rehob with her suburbs, and out of the tribe of Naphtali, Keresh in Galilee with her suburbs, and Hamon with her suburbs, and Kiryatayim with her suburbs. Unto the rest of the children of Merari were given out of the tribe of Zebulun, Rimon with her suburbs, Tabor with her suburbs, and on the other side Jordan by Jericho, on the east side of Jordan, 
were given them out of the tribe of Reuben, Bezer in the wilderness with her suburbs, and Yahtza with her suburbs, Keremot also with her suburbs, and Mepha'at with her suburbs, and out of the tribe of Gad, Ramot and Gilead with her suburbs, and Mahanaim with her suburbs, and Heshbon with her suburbs, and Yazer with her suburbs. Now the sons of Issachar were Tola and Pua, Yashub and Shimrom, four, and the sons of Tola, Utsi and Raphiah, and Yeriel, and Yahmai, and Yibsam, and Shemuel, heads of their father's house, to wit of Tola. They were valiant men of might in their generations, whose number was in the days of David two and twenty thousand and six hundred. And the sons of Utsi, Itzrahiah, and the sons of Itzrahiah, Michael and Obadiah, and Yoel, Ishiah, five, all of them chief men. And with them by their generations, after the house of their fathers, were bands of soldiers for war, six and thirty thousand men, for they had many wives and sons. And their brethren among all the families of Issachar were valiant men of might, reckoned in all by their genealogies fourscore and seven thousand. And the sons of Benjamin, Bela and Becher, and Yeriael three, and the sons of Bela, Etzbon and Utsi, and Uziel, and Yeremot, and Iri, five, heads of the house of their fathers, mighty men of valor, and were reckoned by their genealogies twenty and two thousand and thirty and four, and the sons of Becher, Tzemira, and Yoash, and Eliezer, and Elioenai, and Omri, and Yerimot, and Abiah, and Anatot, and Alamet. All these are the sons of Becher, and the number of them, after their genealogy by their generations, heads of the house of their fathers, mighty men of valor, was twenty thousand and two hundred, the sons also of Yediael, Bilhan, and the sons of Bilhan, Yehush, and Benjamin, and Ehud, and Kenaana, and Yetan, and Tarshish, and Ahishahar, all these the sons of Yediael, by the heads of their fathers, mighty men of valor, were seventeen thousand and two hundred soldiers, fit to go out for war and battle. Shupim also, and Hupim, the children of Ir, and Hushim, the sons of Aher, the sons of Naphtali, Yatziel, and Guni, and Yezer, and Shalom, the sons of Bilha, the sons of Manasseh, Ashriel, whom she bare, but his concubine the Amoritus bare Machir, the father of Gilead, and Machir took to wife the sister of Hupim and Shupim, whose sister's name was Ma'aka, and the name of the second was Tselophahad, and Tselophahad had daughters. And Ma'aka, the wife of Machir, bare a son, and she called his name Peresh, and the name of his brother was Sheresh, and his sons were Ulam and Rakem, and the sons of Ulam, Bedan. These were the sons of Gilead, the son of Machir, the son of Manasseh. And his sister Hamoleket bare Ishod, and Abiezer, and Mahala. And the sons of Shemida were Ahayan, and Shechem, and Liki, and Aniam. And the sons of Ephraim, Shutelah, and Bered his son, and Tahat his son, and Elara his son, and Tahat his son, and Sabad his son, and Shutelah his son, and Ezer, and Eliad, whom the men of Gath that were born in that land slew, because they came down to take away their cattle. And Ephraim their father mourned many days, and his brethren came to comfort him. And when he went into his wife, she conceived, and bare a son, and he called his name Beriah, because it went evil with his house. And his daughter was Shera, who built Bethoron the nether, and the upper, and Utsin Shera. And Repha was his son, also Resheth, and Tela his son, and Tahan his son, Laadan his son, Amihud his son, Elishama his son. Non his son, Yehoshua his son, and their possessions and habitations were Bethel and the towns thereof, and eastward Naaran, and westward Gezer with the towns thereof, Shechem also and the towns thereof, unto Gaza and the towns thereof, and by the borders of the children of Manasseh, Betshean and her towns, Taanach and her towns, Megiddo and her towns, Dor and her towns. In these dwelt the children of Joseph the son of Israel the sons of Asher, Imna, and Isua, and Ishuai, and Bariah, and Serah their sister, and the sons of Bariah, Heber, and Malchiel, who is the father of Birzavit, and Heber begat Yaflet, and Shomer, and Hotam, and Shua their sister, and the sons of Yaflet, Pasach, and Bimhal, and Ashvat. 
These are the children of Yaphlet, and the sons of Shamer, Ahi, and Roga, Yehuba, and Aram, and the sons of his brother Helem, Zophar, and Imna, and Shelesh, and Amal, the sons of Zophar, Sua, and Harnafer, and Shual, and Beri, and Imra, Betzer, and Hod, and Shama, and Shilsha, and Itran, and Be'era, and the sons of Yeter, Yefune, and Pispa, and Ara, and the sons of Ula, Ara, and Haniel, and Retzia. All these were the children of Asher, heads of their father's house, choice and mighty men of valor, chief of the princes, and the number throughout the genealogy of them that were apt to the war and to battle was twenty and six thousand men. Now Benjamin begat Bela his firstborn, Ashbel the second, and Ahara the third, Noah the fourth, and Rapha the fifth. And the sons of Bela were Adar, and Gera, and Abihud, and Abishua, and Naaman, and Ahoa, and Gera, and Shephuphan, and Huram. And these are the sons of Ehud. These are the heads of the fathers of the inhabitants of Geba. And they removed them to Manahat. And Naaman, and Ahiah, and Gera, he removed them, and begat Utsa, and Ahihud. And Shaharaim begat children in the country of Moab, after he had sent them away. Hushim and Baara were his wives. And he begat Hodesh his wife, Yobab, and Sibia, and Mesha, and Malcham, and Yeutz, and Shekiah, and Mirma. These were his sons, heads of the fathers. And of Hushim he begat Abitub, and Elpaal, the sons of Elpaal, Eber, and Misham, and Shamed, who built Ono, and Lod, with the towns thereof, Beriah also, and Shema, who were heads of the fathers of the inhabitants of Ayalon, who drove away the inhabitants of Gath, and Ahio, Shashak, and Yeramot, and Zebediah, and Arad, and Arer, and Michael, and Ispa, and Yoha, the sons of Beriah, and Zebediah, and Meshulam, and Hetaki, and Heber, Ishmerai also, and Yetzliah, and Yobab, the sons of Elpaal, and Yakim, and Zichri, and Zabdi, and Elianai, and Ziltai, and Eliel, and Adiah, and Bariah, and Shimrat, the sons of Shimhi, and Ishpan, and Heber, and Eliel, and Abdon, and Zichri, and Hanan, and Hananiah, and Elam, and Antotiah, and Ephediah, and Penuel, the sons of Shashak, and Shamsherai, and Sheharaiah, and Ataliah, and Yerasiah, and Eliah, and Zichri, the sons of Yeroham. These were the heads of the fathers, by their generations, chief men. These dwelt in Jerusalem. And at Gibeon dwelt the father of Gibeon, whose wife's name was Maacah, and his firstborn son Abdon, and Tzur, and Kish, and Baal, and Nadab, and Geror, and Ahio, and Zacher. And Miklot begat Shemer, and these also dwelt with their brethren in Jerusalem, over against them. And Ner begat Kish, and Kish begat Saul, and Saul begat Yonatan, and Malchishua, and Abinadab, and Eshbaal. And the son of Yonatan was Meribaal, and Meribaal begat Micha, and the sons of Micha were Piton, and Melech, and Tarea, and Ahaz. And Ahaz begat Yehoada, and Yehoada begat Alamet, and Atzmavet, and Simri, and Simri begat Moza. And Moza begat Benea, Rapha was his son, Eleasa his son, Azel his son. And Azel had six sons, whose names are these, Azrikam, Bocheru, and Ishmael, and Shariah, and Obadiah, and Hanan. All these were the sons of Azel. And the sons of Eshek his brother were Ulam his firstborn, Yehush the second, and Eliphet the third. And the sons of Ulam were mighty men of valor, archers, and had many sons, and sons' sons, an hundred and fifty. All these are the sons of Benjamin. So all Israel were reckoned by genealogies, and, behold, they were written in the book of the kings of Israel and Judah, who were carried away to Babylon for their transgression. Now the first inhabitants that dwelt in their possessions in their cities were the Israelites, the priests, Levites, and the Netinims. And in Jerusalem dwelt the children of Judah, and of the children of Benjamin, and of the children of Ephraim and Manasseh, Utai the son of Amihud, the son of Omri, the son of Imri, the son of Bani, of the children of Phares the son of Judah, and of the Shilonites, Asiah the firstborn, and his sons, and the sons of Terah, Yehuel, and their brethren, six hundred and ninety, and of the sons of Benjamin, Salu the son of Meshulam, the son of Horaviah, the son of Hasanua, and Ibnaiah the son of Yeroham, and Elah the son of Utsi, 
the son of Michri, and Meshulam, the son of Shephatiah, the son of Reuel, the son of Ibnia, and their brethren, according to their generations, nine hundred and fifty and six. All these men were chief of the fathers in the house of their fathers, and of the priests, Yediah, and Yehoiarib, and Yachin, and Azariah, the son of Hilkiah, the son of Meshulam, the son of Zadok, the son of Meraiot, the son of Ahitub, the ruler of the house of God, and Adiah, the son of Yeroham, the son of Pashur, the son of Malchiah, and Maasiah, the son of Adiel, the son of Yatserah, the son of Meshulam, the son of Meshilimit, the son of Emer, and their brethren, heads of the house of their fathers, a thousand and seven hundred and three score, very able men for the work of the service of the house of God, and of the Levites, Shemaiah the son of Hashub, the son of Atzrikam, the son of Hashabiah of the sons of Merari, and Bakbakar, Heresh, and Galal, and Mataniah the son of Micha, the son of Zichri, the son of Asaph, and Obadiah the son of Shemaiah, the son of Galal, the son of Yeratun, and Berechiah the son of Asa, the son of Elkanah, that dwelt in the villages of the Netophathites. And the porters were Shalom and Akub, and Talmon, and Ahiman, and their brethren. Shalom was the chief, who hitherto waited in the king's gate eastward. They were porters in the companies of the children of Levi. And Shalom the son of Korah, the son of Abiasaph, the son of Korah, and his brethren, of the house of his father, the Korathites, were over the work of the service, keepers of the gates of the tabernacle. And their fathers, being over the host of the Lord, were keepers of the entry. And Phinehas, the son of Eleazar, was the ruler over them in time past, and the Lord was with him. And Zechariah, the son of Meshelamiah, was porter of the door of the tabernacle of the congregation. All these which were chosen to be porters in the gates were two hundred and twelve. These were reckoned by their genealogy in their villages, whom David and Samuel the seer did ordain in their set office. So they and their children had the oversight of the gates of the house of the Lord, namely the house of the tabernacle by wards. In four quarters were the porters, toward the east, west, north, and south. And their brethren, which were in their villages, were to come after seven days from time to time with them. For these Levites, the four chief porters, were in their set office, and were over the chambers and treasuries of the house of God. And they lodged round about the house of God, because the charge was upon them, and the opening thereof every morning pertained to them. And certain of them had the charge of the ministering vessels, that they should bring them in and out by tale. Some of them also were appointed to oversee the vessels, and all the instruments of the sanctuary, and the fine flour, and the wine, and the oil, and the frankincense, and the spices. And some of the sons of the priests made ointment of the spices. And Matitiah, one of the Levites, who was the firstborn of Shalom the Korahite, had the set office over the things that were made in the pans. And other of their brethren, of the sons of the Kohathites, were over the shewbread to prepare it every Sabbath. And these are the singers, chief of the fathers of the Levites, who remaining in the chambers were free, for they were employed in that work day and night. These chief fathers of the Levites were chief throughout their generations. These dwelt at Jerusalem. And in Gibeon dwelt the father of Gibeon, Yehiel, whose wife's name was Maacha, and his firstborn son Abdon, then Sur, and Kish, and Baal, and Ner, and Narab, and Geror, and Ahio, and Zechariah, and Miklot. And Miklot begat Shimeam, and they also dwelt with their brethren at Jerusalem, over against their brethren. And Ner begat Kish, and Kish begat Saul, and Saul begat Jonathan, and Malchishua, and Abinadab, and Eshbaal. And the son of Jonathan was Meribaal, and Meribaal begat Micha. And the sons of Micha were Piton, and Melech, and Tarea, and Ahaz. And Ahaz begat Yara, and Yara begat Alamet, and Atzmavet, and Simri, and Simri begat Motza. And Motza begat Binea, and Raphaia his son, Eliasa his son, Azel his son. And Azel had six sons, whose names are these, Atzrikam, Bocheru, and Ishmael and Shearaiah, and Obadiah, and Hanan. These were the sons of Azel. Now the Philistines fought against Israel, and the men of Israel fled from before the Philistines, and fell down slain in Mount Gilboa. And the Philistines followed hard after Saul, and after his sons. And the Philistines slew Jonathan, and Abinadab, and Malchishua, the sons of Saul. And the battle went sore against Saul, and the archers hit him, and he was wounded of the archers. 
Then said Saul to his armor-bearer, Draw thy sword, and thrust me through therewith, lest these uncircumcised come and abuse me. But his armor-bearer would not, for he was sore afraid. So Saul took a sword and fell upon it. And when his armor-bearer saw that Saul was dead, he fell likewise on the sword and died. So Saul died, and his three sons, and all his house died together. And when all the men of Israel that were in the valley saw that they fled, and that Saul and his sons were dead, then they forsook their cities and fled. And the Philistines came and dwelt in them. And it came to pass on the morrow, when the Philistines came to strip the slain, that they found Saul and his sons fallen in Mount Gilboa. And when they had stripped him, they took his head and his armor, and sent into the land of the Philistines round about, to carry tidings unto their idols and to the people. And they put his armor in the house of their gods, and fastened his head in the temple of Dagon. And when all Yabesh Gilead heard all that the Philistines had done to Saul, they arose, all the valiant men, and took away the body of Saul, and the bodies of his sons, and they brought them to Yabesh, and buried their bones under the oak in Yabesh, and fasted seven days. So Saul died for his transgression which he committed against the Lord, even against the word of the Lord which he kept not, and also for asking counsel of one that had a familiar spirit to inquire of it, and inquired not of the Lord. Therefore he slew him, and turned the kingdom unto David the son of Jesse. Then all Israel gathered themselves to David unto Hebron, saying, Behold, we are thy bone and thy flesh, and moreover in time past, even when Saul was king, thou wast he that leddest out and broughtest in Israel. And the Lord thy God said unto thee, Thou shalt feed my people Israel, and thou shalt be ruler over my people Israel. Therefore came all the elders of Israel to the king to Hebron. And David made a covenant with them in Hebron before the Lord. And they anointed David king over Israel, according to the word of the Lord by Samuel. And David and all Israel went to Jerusalem, which is Yebus, where the Jebusites were, the inhabitants of the land. And the inhabitants of Yebus said to David, Thou shalt not come hither. Nevertheless David took the castle of Zion, which is the city of David. And David said, Whosoever smiteth the Jebusites first shall be chief and captain. So Joab the son of Zeruiah went first up, and was chief. And David dwelt in the castle, therefore they called it the city of David. And he built the city round about, even from Milo round about. And Joab repaired the rest of the city. So David waxed greater and greater, for the Lord of hosts was with him. These also are the chief of the mighty men whom David had, who strengthened themselves with him in his kingdom, and with all Israel to make him king, according to the word of the Lord concerning Israel. And this is the number of the mighty men whom David had, Yashobeam and Hachmonite, the chief of the captains. He lifted up his spear against three hundred slain by him at one time. And after him was Eleazar, the son of Dodo, the Ahohite, who was one of the three mighties. He was with David at Pastamim, and there the Philistines were gathered together to battle, where was a parcel of ground full of barley, and the people fled from before the Philistines. And they set themselves in the midst of that parcel, and delivered it, and slew the Philistines. And the Lord saved them by a great deliverance. Now three of the thirty captains went down to the rock to David, into the cave of Adulam, and the host of the Philistines encamped in the valley of Rephaim. And David was then in the hold, and the Philistines' garrison was then at Bethlehem. And David longed, and said, Oh, that one would give me drink of the water of the well of Bethlehem, that is at the gate. And the three brake through the host of the Philistines, and drew water out of the well of Bethlehem that was by the gate, and took it, and brought it to David. But David would not drink of it, but poured it out to the Lord, and said, My God forbid it me, that I should do this thing. Shall I drink the blood of these men that have put their lives in jeopardy? For with the jeopardy of their lives they brought it, therefore he would not drink it. These things did these three mightiest. And Abishai, the brother of Joab, he was chief of the three. For lifting up his spear against three hundred, he slew them, and had a name among the three. Of the three he was more honorable than the two, for he was their captain, howbeit he attained not to the first three. Benaiah, the son of Jehoiada, the son of a valiant man of Kapzael, who had done many acts, he slew two lion-like men of Moab. Also he went down and slew a lion in a pit in a snowy day. And he slew an Egyptian, a man of great stature, five cubits high. And in the Egyptian's hand was a spear like a weaver's beam. And he went down to him with a staff, and plucked the spear out of the Egyptian's hand, and slew him with his own spear. These things did Benaiah the son of Jehoiada, 
and had the name among the three mighties. Behold, he was honorable among the thirty, but attained not to the first three, and David set him over his guard. Also the valiant men of the armies were Asahel, the brother of Joab, Elhanan, the son of Dodo of Bethlehem, Shamot, the Hararite, Helets, the Pelonite, Ira, the son of Ikesh, the Tekawite, Abiazer, the Antothite, Sibekai, the Hushathite, Eli, the Ahotite, Maharai, the Netophathite, Heled, the son of Baana, the Netophathite, Ethai, the son of Ribai of Gebeah, that pertained to the children of Benjamin, Benaiah, the Parathonite, Hurai, of the brooks of Gaash, Abiel, the Arbathite, Atzmavet, the Baharamite, Eliaba, the Shaalbonite, the sons of Hashem, the Gitonite, Yonatan, the son of Shageh, the Hararite, Ahayam, the son of Sakar, the Hararite, Eliphal, the son of Ur, Hefer, the Mecherathite, Ahia, the Pelonite, Hetzthro, the Carmelite, Naarai, the son of Etzbai, Yoel, the brother of Natan, Mibhar, the son of Hageri, Zelek, the Ammonite, Naharai, the Berathite, the armor bearer of Yoab, the son of Zeruiah, Ira, the Ethrite, Gareb, the Ethrite, Uriah, the Hittite, Zabad, the son of Alai, Adinad, the son of Shitsa, the Reubenite, a captain of the Reubenites, and thirty with him, Hanan, the son of Maaka, and Jehoshaphat, the Mithnite, Utsia, the Ashterathite, Shaman, Yahiel, the sons of Hotan, the Aroerite, Yediael, the son of Shimri, and Yoha, his brother, the Titzite, Eliel, the Mahavite, and Yerabai, and Yoshaviah, the sons of Elnaam, and Itma, the Moabite, Eliel, and Obed, and Yasiel, the Mesobaite. Now these are they that came to David to Tziklag, while he yet kept himself close because of Saul, the son of Kish, and they were among the mighty men, helpers of the war. They were armed with bows, and could use both the right hand and the left in hurling stones and shooting arrows out of a bow, even of Saul's brethren of Benjamin. The chief was Ahiazer, then Yoash, the sons of Shema'ah the Gibeathite, and Yetziel, and Pelet, the sons of Atzmavet, and Beracha, and Yehu the Antothite, and Ismaiah the Gibeonite, a mighty man among the thirty, and over the thirty, and Jeremiah, and Yahatziel, and Yohanan, and Yosabad the Gederathite, Elutsai, and Yerimot, and Bealiah, and Shemariah, and Shephatiah the Harafite, Elkanah, and Yesiah, and Azarael, and Yoezer, and Yashobam the Korhites, and Yoelah, and Zebediah, the sons of Yeroham of Gedor. And of the Gadites there separated themselves unto David into the hold to the wilderness men of might, and men of war fit for the battle, that could handle shield and buckler, whose faces were like the faces of lions, and were as swift as the rose upon the mountains. Ezer the first, Obadiah the second, Eliab the third, Mishmana the fourth, Jeremiah the fifth, Atai the sixth, Eliel the seventh, Yohanan the eighth, Elzabad the ninth, Jeremiah the tenth, Machbanai the eleventh. These were the sons of Gad, captains of the host. One of the least was over an hundred, and the greatest over a thousand. These are they that went over Jordan in the first month, when it had overflown all his banks and they put to flight all them of the valleys, both toward the east and toward the west. And there came of the children of Benjamin and Judah to the hold unto David. And David went out to meet them, and answered and said unto them, If ye be come peaceably unto me to help me, mine heart shall be knit unto you. But if ye be come to betray me to mine enemies, seeing there is no wrong in mine hands, the God of our fathers look thereon and rebuke it. Then the Spirit came upon Amasai, who is chief of the captains, and he said, Thine are we, David, and on thy side, thou son of Jesse. Peace, peace be unto thee, and peace be to thine helpers, for thy God helpeth thee. Then David received them, and made them captains of the band. And there fell some of Manasseh to David, when he came with the Philistines against Saul to battle. But they helped them not, for the lords of the Philistines upon advisement sent him away, saying, He will fall to his master Saul to the jeopardy of our heads. As he went to Tiklag, there fell to him of Manasseh, Adna, and Yotzabad, and Yediael, and Michael, and Yotzabad, and Elihu, and Tziltai, captains of the thousands that were of Manasseh. And they helped David against the band of the rovers, for they were all mighty men of valor, and were captains in the host. For at that time day by day there came to David to help him, until it was a great host, like the host of God. And these are the numbers of the bands that were ready armed to the war, and came to David to Hebron, to turn the kingdom of Saul to him, according to the word of the Lord. The children of Judah that bear shield and spear were six thousand and eight hundred, ready armed to the war, 
of the children of Simeon, mighty men of valor for the war, seven thousand and one hundred. Of the children of Levi, four thousand and six hundred. And Jehoiada was the leader of the Aaronites, and with him were three thousand and seven hundred. And Zadok, a young man mighty of valor, and of his father's house twenty and two captains. And of the children of Benjamin, the kindred of Saul, three thousand. For hitherto the greatest part of them had kept the ward of the house of Saul. And of the children of Ephraim, twenty thousand and eight hundred, mighty men of valor, famous throughout the house of their fathers. And of the half-tribe of Manasseh, eighteen thousand, which were expressed by name to come and make David king. And of the children of Issachar, which were men that had understanding of the times, to know what Israel ought to do. The heads of them were two hundred, and all their brethren were at their commandment of Zebulun, such as went forth to battle, expert in war, with all instruments of war, fifty thousand, which could keep rank, they were not of double heart, and of Naphtali a thousand captains, and with them with shield and spear, thirty and seven thousand, and of the Donites, expert in war, twenty and eight thousand and six hundred, and of Asher, such as went forth to battle, expert in war, forty thousand, and on the other side of Jordan, of the Reubenites and the Gadites, and of the half-tribe of Manasseh, with all manner of instruments of war for the battle, an hundred and twenty thousand. All these men of war that could keep rank came with a perfect heart to Hebron, to make David king over all Israel. And all the rest also of Israel were of one heart to make David king. And there they were with David three days, eating and drinking, for their brethren had prepared for them. Moreover, they that were nigh them, even unto Issachar and Zebulun and Naphtali, brought bread on asses and on camels and on mules and on oxen and meat, meal, cakes of figs and bunches of raisins and wine and oil and oxen and sheep abundantly, for there was joy in Israel. And David consulted with the captains of thousands and hundreds and with every leader. And David said unto all the congregation of Israel, if it seem good unto you, and that it be of the Lord our God, let us send abroad unto our brethren everywhere that are left in all the land of Israel, and with them also to the priests and Levites which are in their cities and suburbs, that they may gather themselves unto us, and let us bring again the ark of our God to us. For we inquired not at it in the days of Saul. And all the congregation said that they would do so, for the thing was right in the eyes of all the people. So David gathered all Israel together, from Shehor of Egypt, even unto the entering of Hemat, to bring the ark of God from Kiryat Yaarim. And David went up, and all Israel, to Baalah, that is, to Kiryat Yaarim, which belonged to Judah, to bring up thence the ark of God the Lord, that dwelleth between the cherubims, whose name is called on it. And they carried the ark of God in a new cart out of the house of Abinadab, and Utzah and Ahio drave the cart. And David and all Israel played before God with all their might, and with singing, and with harps, and with psalteries, and with timbrels, and with cymbals, and with trumpets. And when they came under the threshing floor of Kidon, Utzah put forth his hand to hold the ark, for the oxen stumbled. And the anger of the Lord was kindled against Utzah, and he smote him, because he put his hand to the ark. And there he died before God. And David was displeased, because the Lord had made a breach upon Utzah, Wherefore that place is called Perazutza to this day. And David was afraid of God that day, saying, How shall I bring the ark of God home to me? So David brought not the ark home to himself to the city of David, but carried it aside into the house of Obedadam the Gittite. And the ark of God remained with the family of Obedadam in his house three months. And the Lord blessed the house of Obedadam and all that he had. Now Hiram king of Tyre sent messengers to David and timbers of cedars, with masons and carpenters, to build him an house. And David perceived that the Lord had confirmed him king over Israel, for his kingdom was lifted up on high, because of his people Israel. And David took more wives at Jerusalem, and David begat more sons and daughters. Now these are the names of his children which he had in Jerusalem, Shamua and Shobab, Nathan and Solomon, and Ibhar, and Elishua, and Elpalet and Noga, and Nepheg, and Yathia, and Elishama, and Be'eliada, and Eliphalet. And when the Philistines heard that David was anointed king over all Israel, all the Philistines went up to seek David. And David heard of it, and went out against them. And the Philistines came and spread themselves in the valley of Rephaim, 
And David inquired of God, saying, Shall I go up against the Philistines? And wilt thou deliver them into mine hand? And the Lord said unto him, Go up, for I will deliver them into thine hand. So they came up to Baal Perazim, and David smote them there. Then David said, God hath broken in upon mine enemies by mine hand like the breaking forth of waters. Therefore they called the name of that place Baal Perazim. And when they had left their gods there, David gave a commandment, and they were burned with fire, and the Philistines yet again spread themselves abroad in the valley. Therefore David inquired again of God, and God said unto him, Go not up after them, turn away from them, and come up upon them over against the mulberry trees. And it shall be, when thou shalt hear a sound of going in the tops of the mulberry trees, that then thou shalt go out to battle. For God has gone forth before thee to smite the host of the Philistines. David therefore did as God commanded him, and they smote the host of the Philistines from Gibeon even to Gatzer. And the fame of David went out into all lands, and the Lord brought the fear of him upon all nations. And David made him houses in the city of David, and prepared a place for the ark of God, and pitched it for a tent. Then David said, None ought to carry the ark of God but the Levites, for them hath the Lord chosen to carry the ark of God, and to minister unto him for ever. And David gathered all Israel together to Jerusalem, to bring up the ark of the Lord unto his place, which he had prepared for it. And David assembled the children of Aaron, and the Levites, of the sons of Kohat, Uriel the chief, and his brethren an hundred and twenty, of the sons of Merari, Asiah the chief, and his brethren two hundred and twenty, of the sons of Gershom, Yoel the chief, and his brethren an hundred and thirty, of the sons of Elitzaphan, Shemaiah the chief, and his brethren two hundred, of the sons of Hebron, Eliel the chief, and his brethren fourscore, of the sons of Uziel, Aminadab the chief, and his brethren an hundred and twelve. And David called for Zadok and Abiathar the priests, and for the Levites, for Uriel, Asiah, and Yoel, Shemaiah, and Eliel, and Aminadab, and said unto them, Ye are the chief of the fathers of the Levites, sanctify yourselves, both ye and your brethren, that ye may bring up the ark of the Lord God of Israel unto the place that I have prepared for it. For because ye did it not at the first, the Lord our God made a breach upon us, for that we sought him not after the due order. So the priests and the Levites sanctified themselves to bring up the ark of the Lord God of Israel. And the children of the Levites bear the ark of God upon their shoulders with the staves thereon, as Moses commanded according to the word of the Lord. And David spake to the chief of the Levites to appoint their brethren to be the singers with instruments of music, psalteries and harps and cymbals, sounding by lifting up the voice with joy. So the Levites appointed Heman the son of Yoel and of his brethren, Asaph the son of Berechiah, and of the sons of Merari their brethren, Ethan the son of Cushiah, and with them their brethren of the second degree, Zechariah, Ben, and Yaaziel, and Shemiramot, and Yehiel, and Uni, Eliab, and Benaiah, and Maasaiah, and Matithiah, and Eliphaleh, and Miknaiah, and Obededom, and Yehiel the porters. So the singers, Heman, Asaph, and Ethan, were appointed to sound with cymbals of brass. And Zechariah, and Atziel, and Shemiramot, and Yehiel, and Uni, and Eliab, and Maasaiah, and Benaiah, with psalteries on Olamot, and Matithiah, and Eliphaleh, and Mikniah, and Obedadam, and Yeiel, and Atzaziah, with harps on the Sheminit to excel, and Kenaniah, chief of the Levites, was for song. He instructed about the song because he was skillful, and Berechiah and Elkanah were doorkeepers for the ark, and Shebaniah, and Jehoshaphat, and Nathanael, and Amasai, and Zechariah, and Benaiah, and Eliezer, the priests, did blow with the trumpets before the ark of God, and Obedadam and Yahiah were doorkeepers for the ark. So David, and the elders of Israel, and the captains over thousands, went to bring up the ark of the covenant of the Lord, out of the house of Obedadam with joy. And it came to pass, when God helped the Levites that bear the ark of the covenant of the Lord, that they offered seven bullocks and seven rams, and David was clothed with a robe of fine linen, and all the Levites that bear the ark, and the singers, and Kenaniah the master of the song with the singers, David also had upon him an ephod of linen. Thus all Israel brought up the ark of the covenant of the Lord with shouting, and with the sound of the cornet, and with trumpets, and with cymbals, making a noise with psalteries and harps. And it came to pass, as the ark of the covenant of the Lord came to the city of David, 
that Michal, the daughter of Saul, looking out at a window, saw King David dancing and playing, and she despised him in her heart. So they brought the ark of God, and set it in the midst of the tent that David had pitched for it, and they offered burnt sacrifices and peace offerings before God. And when David had made an end of offering the burnt offerings and the peace offerings, he blessed the people in the name of the Lord. And he dealt to every one of Israel, both man and woman, to every one a loaf of bread, and a good piece of flesh, and a flagon of wine. And he appointed certain of the Levites to minister before the ark of the Lord, and to record, and to thank and praise the Lord God of Israel, Asaph the chief, and next to him Zechariah, Jehiel, and Shemiramot, and Jehiel, and Matithiah, and Eliab, and Benaiah, and Obededom, and Jehiel with psalteries and with harps, but Asaph made a sound with cymbals, Benaiah also, and Yahatziel the priests with trumpets continually before the ark of the covenant of God. Then on that day David delivered first this psalm to thank the Lord into the hand of Asaph and his brethren. Give thanks unto the Lord, call upon his name, make known his deeds among his people, sing unto him, sing psalms unto him, talk ye of all his wondrous works, glory ye in his holy name. Let the heart of them rejoice that seek the Lord. Seek the Lord and his strength. Seek his face continually. Remember his marvelous works that he hath done, his wonders, and the judgments of his mouth. O ye seed of Israel, his servant, ye children of Jacob, his chosen ones. He is the Lord our God. His judgments are in all the earth. Be ye mindful always of his covenant the word which he commanded to a thousand generations, even of the covenant which he made with Abraham, and of his oath unto Isaac, and hath confirmed the same to Jacob for a law, and to Israel for an everlasting covenant, saying, Unto thee will I give the land of Canaan, the lot of your inheritance, when ye were but few, even a few, and strangers in it. And when they went from nation to nation, and from one kingdom to another people, he suffered no man to do them wrong. Yea, he reproved kings for their sakes, saying, Touch not mine anointed, and do my prophets no harm. Sing unto the Lord all the earth, shew forth from day to day his salvation. Declare his glory among the heathen, his marvelous works among all nations. For great is the Lord, and greatly to be praised. He also is to be feared above all gods. For all the gods of the people are idols, but the Lord made the heavens. Glory and honor are in his presence. Strength and gladness are in his place. Give unto the Lord, ye kindreds of the people. Give unto the Lord glory and strength. Give unto the Lord the glory due unto his name. Bring an offering and come before him. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Fear before him all the earth. The world also shall be stable, that it be not moved. Let the heavens be glad, and let the earth rejoice, and let men say among the nations, The Lord reigneth. Let the sea roar, and the fullness thereof. Let the fields rejoice, and all that is therein. Then shall the trees of the wood sing out at the presence of the Lord, because he cometh to judge the earth. O oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endureth for ever. And say ye, Save us, O God of our salvation, and gather us together, and deliver us from the heathen, that we may give thanks to thy holy name, and glory in thy praise. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel for ever and ever. And all the people said, Amen, and praised the Lord. So he left there before the ark of the covenant of the Lord, Asaph and his brethren, to minister before the ark continually, as every day's work required and Obededom with their brethren, threescore and eight, Obededom also the son of Yeratun and Hosa to be porters, and Zadok the priest, and his brethren the priests, before the tabernacle of the Lord in the high place that was at Gibeon, to offer burnt offerings unto the Lord, upon the altar of the burnt offering continually, morning and evening, and to do according to all that is written in the law of the Lord, which he commanded Israel, and with them Heman and Yeratun, and the rest that were chosen, who were expressed by name, to give thanks to the Lord, because his mercy endureth for ever, and with them Heman and Yeratun with trumpets and cymbals, for those that should make a sound, and with musical instruments of God, 
and the sons of Yeratun were porters. And all the people departed every man to his house, and David returned to bless his house. Now it came to pass, as David sat in his house, that David said to Nathan the prophet, Lo, I dwell in an house of cedars, but the ark of the covenant of the Lord remaineth under curtains. Then Nathan said unto David, Do all that is in thine heart, for God is with thee. And it came to pass the same night, that the word of God came to Nathan, saying, Go and tell David my servant, Thus saith the Lord, Thou shalt not build me an house to dwell in, for I have not dwelt in an house since the day that I brought up Israel unto this day but have gone from tent to tent, and from one tabernacle to another. Wheresoever I have walked with all Israel, spake I a word to any of the judges of Israel, whom I commanded to feed my people, saying, Why have ye not built me an house of cedars? Now therefore thus shalt thou say unto my servant David, Thus saith the Lord of hosts, I took thee from the sheep coat, even from following the sheep, that thou shouldest be ruler over my people Israel, and I have been with thee whithersoever thou hast walked, and have cut off all thine enemies from before thee, and have made thee a name like the name of the great men that are in the earth. Also I will ordain a place for my people Israel, and will plant them, and they shall dwell in their place, and shall be moved no more. Neither shall the children of wickedness waste them any more, as at the beginning. And since the time that I commanded judges to be over my people Israel, moreover I will subdue all thine enemies. Furthermore I tell thee that the Lord will build thee an house, and it shall come to pass, when thy days be expired, that thou must go to be with thy fathers, that I will raise up thy seed after thee, which shall be of thy sons, and I will establish his kingdom. He shall build me an house, and I will establish his throne forever. I will be his father, and he shall be my son, and I will not take my mercy away from him, as I took it from him that was before thee but I will settle him in mine house and in my kingdom forever, and his throne shall be established forevermore. According to all these words, and according to all this vision, so did Nathan speak unto David. And David the king came and sat before the Lord, and said, Who am I, O Lord God, and what is mine house, that thou hast brought me hitherto? And yet this was a small thing in thine eyes, O God. For thou hast also spoken of thy servant's house for a great while to come, and hast regarded me according to the estate of a man of high degree, O Lord God. What can David speak more to thee for the honor of thy servant? For thou knowest thy servant, O Lord, for thy servant's sake, and according to thine own heart, hast thou done all this greatness in making known all these great things. O Lord, there is none like thee, neither is there any God beside thee according to all that we have heard with our ears. And what one nation in the earth is like thy people Israel, whom God went to redeem to be his own people, to make thee a name of greatness and terribleness, by driving out nations from before thy people, whom thou hast redeemed out of Egypt? For thy people Israel didst thou make thine own people forever, and thou, Lord, becamest their God. Therefore now, Lord, let the thing that thou hast spoken concerning thy servant and concerning his house be established forever, and do as thou hast said. Let it even be established, that thy name may be magnified forever, saying, The Lord of hosts is the God of Israel, even a God to Israel. And let the house of David thy servant be established before thee. For thou, O oh my God, hast told thy servant that thou wilt build him an house. Therefore thy servant hath found in his heart to pray before thee. And now, Lord, thou art God, and hast promised this goodness unto thy servant. Now therefore let it please thee to bless the house of thy servant, that it may be before thee forever. For thou blessest, O Lord, and it shall be blessed forever. Now after this it came to pass that David smote the Philistines, and subdued them, and took Gath and her towns out of the hand of the Philistines. And he smote Moab, and the Moabites became David's servants, and brought gifts. And David smote Hadarazer, king of Tzobah, unto Hamat, as he went to establish his dominion by the river Euphrates. And David took from him a thousand chariots, and seven thousand horsemen, and twenty thousand footmen. David also hawked all the chariot horses, but reserved of them an hundred chariots. And when the Syrians of Damascus came to help Hadarazer, king of Tzobah, David slew of the Syrians two and twenty thousand men. Then David put garrisons in Syria Damascus, and the Syrians became David's servants and brought gifts. 
Thus the Lord preserved David whithersoever he went. And David took the shields of gold that were on the servants of Hararazer, and brought them to Jerusalem. Likewise from Tipat, and from Kun, cities of Hararazer, brought David very much brass, wherewith Solomon made the brazen sea, and the pillars, and the vessels of brass. Now in Tou, king of Hamat, heard how David had smitten all the host of Hararazer, king of Tzobah, he sent Haroram his son to king David, to inquire of his welfare, and to congratulate him, because he had fought against Hararazer and smitten him, for Hararazer had war with Tou and with him all manner of vessels of gold and silver and brass. Them also King David dedicated unto the Lord, with the silver and the gold that he brought from all these nations, from Edom, and from Moab, and from the children of Ammon, and from the Philistines, and from Amalek. Moreover Abishai, the son of Zeruiah, slew of the Edomites in the valley of Salt eighteen thousand. And he put garrisons in Edom, and all the Edomites became David's servants. Thus the Lord preserved David whithersoever he went. So David reigned over all Israel, and executed judgment and justice among all his people. And Joab the son of Zeruiah was over the host, and Jehoshaphat the son of Ahilud recorder, and Zadok the son of Ahitub, and Abimelech the son of Abiathar were the priests, and Shafshah was scribe, and Benaiah the son of Jehoiada was over the Kerethites and the Pelethites, and the sons of David were chief about the king. Now it came to pass after this, that Nahash the king of the children of Ammon died, and his son reigned in his stead. And David said, I will shew kindness unto Hanun the son of Nahash, because his father shewed kindness to me. And David sent messengers to comfort him concerning his father. So the servants of David came into the land of the children of Ammon to Hanun to comfort him. But the princes of the children of Ammon said to Hanun, Thinkest thou that David doth honour thy father, that he hath sent comforters unto thee? Are not his servants come unto thee for to search, and to overthrow, and to spy out the land? Wherefore Hanun took David's servants, and shaved them, and cut off their garments in the midst hard by their buttocks, and sent them away. Then there went certain, and told David how the men were served. And he sent to meet them, for the men were greatly ashamed. And the king said, Tarry at Jericho until your beards be grown, and then return. And when the children of Ammon saw that they had made themselves odious to David, Hanun and the children of Ammon sent a thousand talents of silver to hire them chariots and horsemen out of Mesopotamia, and out of Syria Maaka, and out of Tzobah. So they hired thirty and two thousand chariots, and the king of Maaka and his people, who came and pitched before Medaba. And the children of Ammon gathered themselves together from their cities, and came to battle. And when David heard of it, he sent Joab and all the host of the mighty men. And the children of Ammon came out, and put the battle in array before the gate of the city and the kings that were come were by themselves in the field. Now when Joab saw that the battle was set against him before and behind, he chose out of all the choice of Israel, and put them in array against the Syrians. And the rest of the people he delivered unto the hand of Abishai his brother, and they set themselves in array against the children of Ammon. And he said, If the Syrians be too strong for me, then thou shalt help me. But if the children of Ammon be too strong for thee, then I will help thee. Be of good courage and let us behave ourselves valiantly for our people, and for the cities of our God, and let the Lord do that which is good in his sight. So Joab and the people that were with him drew nigh before the Syrians unto battle, and they fled before him. And when the children of Ammon saw that the Syrians were fled, they likewise fled before Abishai his brother, and entered into the city. Then Joab came to Jerusalem. And when the Syrians saw that they were put to worse before Israel, they sent messengers, and drew forth the Syrians that were beyond the river. And Shopach, the captain of the host of Hararazer, went before them. And it was told David, and he gathered all Israel, and passed over Jordan, and came upon them, and set the battle in array against them. So when David had put the battle in array against the Syrians, they fought with him. But the Syrians fled before Israel. And David slew of the Syrians seven thousand men which fought in chariots, and forty thousand footmen, and killed Shophach, the captain of the host. And when the servants of Hararazer saw that they were put to the worse before Israel, they made peace with David, and became his servants. Neither would the Syrians help the children of Ammon any more. And it came to pass that after the year was expired, at the time that kings go out to battle, Joab led forth the power of the army, and wasted the country of the children of Ammon, and came and besieged Rabbah. But David tarried at Jerusalem, and Joab smote Rabbah, and destroyed it. And David took the crown of their king from off his head, 
and found it to weigh a talent of gold, and there were precious stones in it, and it was set upon David's head. And he brought also exceeding much spoil out of the city. And he brought out the people that were in it, and cut them with saws, and with harrows of iron, and with axes. Even so dealt David with all the cities of the children of Ammon. And David and all the people returned to Jerusalem. And it came to pass after this, that there arose war at Gezer with the Philistines, at which time Sebekai the Hushathite slew Sippai, that was of the children of the giant, and they were subdued. And there was war again with the Philistines, and Elhanan the son of Yair slew Lahmi the brother of Goliath the Gittite, whose spear staff was like a weaver's beam. And yet again there was war at Gath, where was a man of great stature, whose fingers and toes were four and twenty, six on each hand, and six on each foot. And he also was the son of the giant. But when he defiled Israel, Jonathan the son of Shemaiah, David's brother, slew him. These were born unto the giant in Gath, and they fell by the hand of David, and by the hand of his servants. And Satan stood up against Israel, and provoked David to number Israel. And David said to Joab and to the rulers of the people, Go, number Israel, from Beersheba even to Dan, and bring the number of them to me, that I may know it. And Joab answered, The Lord make his people an hundred times so many more as they be. But, my lord the king, are they not all my lord's servants? Why then doth my lord require this thing? Why will he be a cause of trespass to Israel? Nevertheless the king's word prevailed against Joab. Wherefore Joab departed, and went throughout all Israel, and came to Jerusalem. And Joab gave the sum of the number of the people unto David. And all they of Israel were a thousand thousand, and an hundred thousand men that drew sword. And Judah was four hundred threescore and ten thousand men that drew sword. But Levi and Benjamin counted he not among them, for the king's word was abominable to Joab. And God was displeased with this thing, therefore he smote Israel. And David said unto God, I have sinned greatly, because I have done this thing. But now I beseech thee, do away the iniquity of thy servant, for I have done very foolishly. And the Lord spake unto Gad, David's seer, saying, Go and tell David, saying, Thus saith the Lord, I offer thee three things, choose thee one of them, that I may do it unto thee. So Gad came to David, and said unto him, Thus saith the Lord, Choose thee, either three years' famine, or three months to be destroyed before thy foes, while that the sword of thine enemies overtaketh thee or else three days the sword of the Lord, even the pestilence in the land, and the angel of the Lord destroying throughout all the coasts of Israel. Now therefore advise thyself what word I shall bring again to him that sent me. And David said unto Gad, I am in a great strait. Let me fall now into the hand of the Lord, for very great are his mercies. But let me not fall into the hand of man. So the Lord sent pestilence upon Israel, and there fell of Israel seventy thousand men. And God sent an angel unto Jerusalem to destroy it. And as he was destroying, the Lord beheld. And he repented him of the evil, and said to the angel that destroyed, It is enough, stay now thine hand. And the angel of the Lord stood by the threshing floor of Ornan, the Jebusite. And David lifted up his eyes, and saw the angel of the Lord stand between the earth and the heaven, having a drawn sword in his hand stretched out over Jerusalem. Then David and the elders of Israel, who were clothed in sackcloth, fell upon their faces. And David said unto God, Is it not I that commanded the people to be numbered? Even I it is that have sinned and done evil indeed. But as for these sheep, what have they done? Let thine hand, I pray thee, O Lord my God, be on me, and on my father's house, but not on thy people, that they should be plagued. Then the angel of the Lord commanded Gad to say to David, that David should go up, and set up an altar unto the Lord in the threshing floor of Ornan the Jebusite. And David went up at the saying of Gad, which he spake in the name of the Lord. And Ornan turned back, and saw the angel, and his four sons with him hid themselves. Now Ornan was threshing wheat. And as David came to Ornan, Ornan looked and saw David, and went out of the threshing floor, and bowed himself to David with his face to the ground. Then David said to Ornan, Grant me the place of this threshing floor, that I may build an altar therein unto the Lord. Thou shalt grant it me for the full price that the plague may be stayed from the people. And Ornan said unto David, Take it to thee, and let my lord the king do that which is good in his eyes. Lo, I give thee the oxen also for burnt offerings, and the threshing instruments for wood, and the wheat for the meat offering, I give it all. And king David said to Ornan, Nay, but I will verily buy it for the full price, 
for I will not take that which is thine for the Lord, nor offer burnt offerings without cost. So David gave to Ornan for the place six hundred shekels of gold by weight. And David built there an altar unto the Lord, and offered burnt offerings and peace offerings, and called upon the Lord. And he answered him from heaven by fire upon the altar of burnt offering. And the Lord commanded the angel, and he put up his sword again into the sheath thereof. At that time when David saw that the Lord had answered him in the threshing floor of Ornan the Jebusite, then he sacrificed there. For the tabernacle of the Lord, which Moses made in the wilderness, and the altar of the burnt offering, were at that season in the high place at Gibeon. But David could not go before it to inquire of God, for he was afraid because of the sword of the angel of the Lord. Then David said, This is the house of the Lord God, and this is the altar of the burnt offering for Israel. And David commanded to gather together the strangers that were in the land of Israel, and he set masons to hew wrought stones to build the house of God. And David prepared iron in abundance for the nails, for the doors of the gates, and for the joinings, and brass in abundance without weight. Also cedar trees in abundance, for the Zidonians and they of Tyre brought much cedar wood to David. And David said, Solomon my son is young and tender, and the house that is to be builded for the Lord must be exceedingly magnificent, of fame and of glory throughout all countries. I will therefore now make preparation for it. So David prepared abundantly before his death. Then he called for Solomon his son, and charged him to build an house for the Lord God of Israel. And David said to Solomon, My son, as for me, it was in my mind to build an house unto the name of the Lord my God. But the word of the Lord came to me, saying, Thou hast shed blood abundantly, and hast made great wars. Thou shalt not build an house unto my name, because thou hast shed much blood upon the earth in my sight. Behold, a son shall be born to thee, who shall be a man of rest, and I will give him rest from all his enemies round about. For his name shall be Solomon, and I will give peace and quietness unto Israel in his days. He shall build an house for my name, and he shall be my son, and I will be his father, and I will establish the throne of his kingdom over Israel forever. Now, my son, the Lord be with thee, and prosper thou and build the house of the Lord thy God, as he hath said of thee. Only the Lord give thee wisdom and understanding, and give thee charge concerning Israel, that thou mayest keep the law of the Lord thy God. Then shalt thou prosper, if thou takest heed to fulfill the statutes and judgments which the Lord charged Moses with concerning Israel. Be strong, and of good courage, dread not, nor be dismayed. Now, behold, in my trouble I have prepared for the house of the Lord an hundred thousand talents of gold, and a thousand thousand talents of silver, and of brass and iron without weight, for it is in abundance. Timber also and stone have I prepared, and thou mayest add thereto. Moreover there are workmen with thee in abundance, hewers and workers of stone and timber, and all manner of cunning men for every manner of work. Of the gold, the silver, and the brass, and the iron there is no number. Arise, therefore, and be doing, and the Lord be with thee. David also commanded all the princes of Israel to help Solomon his son, saying, Is not the Lord your God with you? And hath he not given you rest on every side? For he hath given the inhabitants of the land into mine hand, and the land is subdued before the Lord and before his people. Now set your heart and your soul to seek the Lord your God. Arise, therefore, and build ye the sanctuary of the Lord God to bring the ark of the covenant of the Lord and the holy vessels of God into the house that is to be built to the name of the Lord. So when David was old and full of days, he made Solomon his son king over Israel, and he gathered together all the princes of Israel with the priests and the Levites. Now the Levites were numbered from the age of thirty years and upward, and their number by their poles, man by man, was thirty and eight thousand of which twenty and four thousand were to set forward the work of the house of the Lord, and six thousand were officers and judges. Moreover, four thousand were porters, and four thousand praised the Lord with instruments which I made, said David, to praise therewith. And David divided them into courses among the sons of Levi, namely Gershon, Kohat, and Merari. Of the Gershonites were Laadan and Shimei. The sons of Laadan, the chief was Yehiel, and Zetam, and Yoel, three the sons of Shimei, Shelemet, and Hatziel, and Haran, three. These were the chief of the fathers of Laadan. And the sons of Shimei were Yahat, Tzina, and Yehush, and Beriah. 
These four were the sons of Shimer, and Yahat was the chief, and Tzitzah the second. But Yehush and Bariah had not many sons, therefore they were in one reckoning, according to their father's house. The sons of Kohat, Amram, Itzar, Hebron, and Utziel, four. The sons of Amram, Aaron, and Moses. And Aaron was separated, that he should sanctify the most holy things, he and his sons forever, to burn incense before the Lord, to minister unto him, and to bless in his name forever. Now concerning Moses the man of God, his sons were named of the tribe of Levi. The sons of Moses were Gershom and Eliezer. And of the sons of Gershom, Shebuel was the chief. And the sons of Eliezer were Rehabiah the chief. And Eliezer had none other sons, but the sons of Rehabiah were very many. Of the sons of Itzar, Shelemit the chief. Of the sons of Hebron, Yeriah the first, Amariah the second, Yahaziel the third, and Yechameam the fourth. Of the sons of Uziel, Micha the first, and Yesiah the second. The sons of Merari, Mahli, and Mushi. The sons of Mahli, Eleazar, and Kish. And Eleazar died and had no sons but daughters, and their brethren the sons of Kish took them. The sons of Mushi, Mahli, and Eder, and Yeremot, three. These were the sons of Levi after the house of their fathers, even the chief of their fathers, as they were counted by numbers of names by their poles, that did the work for the service of the house of the Lord, from the age of twenty years and upward. For David said, The Lord God of Israel hath given rest unto his people, that they may dwell in Jerusalem for ever and also unto the Levites. They shall no more carry the tabernacle, nor any vessels of it, for the service thereof. For by the last words of David the Levites were numbered from twenty years old and above, because their office was to wait on the sons of Aaron for the service of the house of the Lord, in the courts, and in the chambers, and in the purifying of all holy things, and the work of the service of the house of God, both for the shewbread, and for the fine flour for meat offering, and for the unleavened cakes, and for that which is baked in the pan, and for that which is fried, and for all manner of measure and size, and to stand every morning to thank and praise the Lord, and likewise at even, and to offer all burnt sacrifices unto the Lord in the Sabbaths, in the new moons, and on the set feasts, by number, according to the order commanded unto them, continually before the Lord, and that they should keep the charge of the tabernacle of the congregation, and the charge of the holy place, and the charge of the sons of Aaron their brethren, in the service of the house of the Lord. Now these are the divisions of the sons of Aaron, the sons of Aaron, Nadab and Abihu, Eleazar and Itamar. But Nadab and Abihu died before their father and had no children. Therefore Eleazar and Itamar executed the priest's office. And David distributed them, both Zadok of the sons of Eleazar and Ahimelech of the sons of Itamar, according to their offices in their service. And there were more chief men found of the sons of Eleazar than of the sons of Itamar, and thus were they divided. Among the sons of Eleazar there were sixteen chief men of the house of their fathers, and eight among the sons of Itamar, according to the house of their fathers. Thus were they divided by lot, one sort with another, for the governors of the sanctuary, and governors of the house of God, were the sons of Eleazar and the sons of Itamar. And Shemaiah the son of Nethanael the scribe, one of the Levites, wrote them before the king, and the princes, and Zadok the priest, and Ahimelech the son of Abiathar, and before the chief of the fathers of the priests and Levites, one principal household being taken for Eleazar, and one taken for Itamar. Now the first lot came forth to Jehoiarib, and the second to Yediah, the third to Harim, the fourth to Seorim, the fifth to Malchiah, the sixth to Miamin, the seventh to Hakots, the eighth to Abiah, the ninth to Yeshua, the tenth to Shechaniah, the eleventh to Eliashib, the twelfth to Yakim, the thirteenth to Hupa, the fourteenth to Yeshabeab, the fifteenth to Bilga, the sixteenth to Emed, the seventeenth to Hetzir, the eighteenth to Afses, the nineteenth to Pethahiah, the twentieth to Yehezekel, the one and twentieth to Yachin, the two and twentieth to Gamul, the three and twentieth to Deliah, the four and twentieth to Maaziah. These were the orderings of them in their service to come into the house of the Lord, according to their manner, under Aaron their father, as the Lord God of Israel had commanded him. And the rest of the sons of Levi were these, of the sons of Amram, Shubael, of the sons of Shubael, Yereiah, concerning Rehabiah, of the sons of Rehabiah, the first was Isaiah, of the Itzharites, Shelemot, of the sons of Shelemot, Yahat, and the sons of Hebron, Uriah the first, 
Amariah the second, Yahaziel the third, Yekameam the fourth, of the sons of Uziel, Micha, of the sons of Micha, Shamir, the brother of Micha was Isaiah, of the sons of Isaiah, Zechariah, the sons of Merari were Mahli and Mushi, the sons of Yaatziah, Beno, the sons of Merari by Yaatziah, Beno and Shoham, and Sakur and Ibri. Of Mahli came Eliatzar, who had no sons. Concerning Kish, the son of Kish was Yerameel, the sons also of Mushi, Mahli, and Eder, and Yeramot. These were the sons of the Levites, after the house of their fathers. These likewise cast lots over against their brethren the sons of Aaron, in the presence of David the king, and Zadok, and Ahimelech, and the chief of the fathers of the priests and Levites, even the principal fathers over against their younger brethren. Moreover, David and the captains of the host, separated to the service of the sons of Asaph, and of Heman, and of Yeratun, who should prophesy with harps, with psalteries, and with cymbals. And the number of the workmen according to their service was, of the sons of Asaph, Zakur and Joseph, and Nathaniah, and Asarela, the sons of Asaph under the hands of Asaph, which prophesied according to the order of the king. Of Yeratun, the sons of Yeratun, Gedaliah, and Seri, and Yeshiah, Hashabiah, and Matithiah six, under the hands of their father Yeratun, who prophesied with a harp, to give thanks and praise to the Lord. Of Heman, the sons of Heman, Bukiah, Mataniah, Uziel, Shebuel, and Yerimot, Hananiah, Hanani, Eliata, Gidalti, and Romamtietzer, Yoshbekasha, Maluti, Hotir, and Mahatziot. All these were the sons of Heman, the king's seer, in the words of God, to lift up the horn. And God gave to Heman fourteen sons and three daughters. All these were under the hands of their father for song in the house of the Lord, with cymbals, psalteries, and harps, for the service of the house of God, according to the king's order to Asaph, Yeratun, and Heman. So the number of them, with their brethren that were instructed in the songs of the Lord, even all that were cunning, was two hundred fourscore and eight. And they cast lots, ward against ward, as well the small as the great, the teacher as the scholar. Now the first lot came forth for Asaph to Joseph, the second to Gedaliah, who with his brethren and sons were twelve, the third to Zakur, he, his sons, and his brethren were twelve, the fourth to Itzri, he, his sons, and his brethren were twelve, the fifth to Netaniah, he, his sons, and his brethren were twelve, the sixth to Bukiah, he, his sons, and his brethren were twelve, the seventh to Yesharela, he, his sons, and his brethren were twelve, the eighth to Yeshiah, he, his sons, and his brethren were twelve. The ninth to Mataniah, he, his sons, and his brethren were twelve. The tenth to Shimei, he, his sons, and his brethren were twelve. The eleventh to Azarael, he, his sons, and his brethren were twelve. The twelfth to Hashabiah, he, his sons, and his brethren were twelve. The thirteenth to Shubael, he, his sons, and his brethren were twelve. The fourteenth to Matithiah, he, his sons, and his brethren were twelve. The fifteenth to Yeramot, he, his sons, and his brethren were twelve. The sixteenth to Hananiah, he, his sons, and his brethren were twelve. The seventeenth to Yoshbekashah, he, his sons, and his brethren were twelve. The eighteenth to Hanani, he, his sons, and his brethren were twelve. The nineteenth to Malati, he, his sons, and his brethren were twelve. The twentieth to Eliatha, he, his sons and his brethren were twelve. The one and twentieth to Hotir, he, his sons and his brethren were twelve. The two and twentieth to Gedalti, he, his sons and his brethren were twelve. The three and twentieth to Mahatziot, he, his sons and his brethren were twelve. The four and twentieth to Ramamtietzer, he, his sons and his brethren were twelve. Concerning the divisions of the porters, of the Korhites was Meshelamiah the son of Korah, of the sons of Asaph. And the sons of Meshelamiah were Zechariah the firstborn, Yediael the second, Zebediah the third, Yatniel the fourth, Elam the fifth, Yehohanan the sixth, Elioenai the seventh. Moreover, the sons of Obedadam were Shemaiah the firstborn, Yehotzabad the second, Yoah the third, and Sakar the fourth, and Nethanael the fifth, Amiel the sixth, Issachar the seventh, Peultai the eighth for God blessed him. Also unto Shemaiah his son were sons born, that ruled throughout the house of their father, for they were mighty men of valor. The sons of Shemaiah, Otni and Raphael, and Obed, Elzabad, whose brethren were strong men, 
Elihu and Semachiah, all these of the sons of Obededom, they and their sons and their brethren, able men for strength for the service, were threescore and two of Obededom. And Meshelamiah had sons and brethren, strong men, eighteen. Also Hosa of the children of Merari had sons, Simri the chief, for though he was not the firstborn, yet his father made him the chief, Hilkiah the second, Tebaliah the third, Zechariah the fourth, all the sons and brethren of Hosa were thirteen. Among these were the divisions of the porters, even among the chief men, having wards one against another, to minister in the house of the Lord. And they cast lots, as well the small as the great, according to the house of their fathers for every gate. And the lot eastward fell to Shelemiah. Then for Zechariah his son, a wise counselor, they cast lots. And his lot came out northward, to Obededom southward, and to his sons the house of Asupim. To Shupim and Hosa the lot came forth westward, with the gate Shalachet, by the causeway of the going up, ward against ward. Eastward were six Levites, northward four a day, southward four a day, and toward Asupim two and two. At Parbar westward, four at the causeway, and two at Parbar. These are the divisions of the porters among the sons of Koreh, and among the sons of Merari. And of the Levites, Ahia was over the treasures of the house of God, and over the treasures of the dedicated things, as concerning the sons of Laadan, the sons of the Gershonite Laadan, chief fathers, even of Laadan the Gershonite, were Yehiali, the sons of Yehiali, Tetam, and Yoel his brother, which were over the treasures of the house of the Lord, and of the Amramites, and the Itzartites, the Hebronites, and the Uzielites, and Shebuel the son of Gershom, the son of Moses, was ruler of the treasures, and his brethren by Eliezer, Rehabiah his son, and Yeshiah his son, and Yoram his son, and Zikri his son, and Shelemit his son, which Shelemit and his brethren were over all the treasures of the dedicated things, which David the king, and the chief fathers, the captains over thousands and hundreds, and the captains of the host had dedicated. Out of the spoils won in battles did they dedicate to maintain the house of the Lord. And all that Samuel the seer, and Saul the son of Kish, and Abner the son of Ner, and Joab the son of Zeruiah had dedicated, and whosoever had dedicated anything, it was under the hand of Shelemit and of his brethren. Of the Itzarites, Kenaniah and his sons were over the outward business over Israel for officers and judges. And of the Hebronites, Hashabiah and his brethren, men of valor, a thousand and seven hundred, were officers among them of Israel on this side Jordan, westward, in all the business of the Lord, and in the service of the king. Among the Hebronites was Yeriah the chief, even among the Hebronites, according to the generations of his fathers. In the fortieth year of the reign of David they were sought for, and there were found among them mighty men of valor at Yazer of Gilead. And his brethren, men of valor, were two hundred thousand and seven hundred chief fathers, whom King David made rulers over the Reubenites, the Gadites, and the half-tribe of Manasseh, for every manner pertaining to God and affairs of the king. Now the children of Israel after their number, to wit, the chief fathers and captains of thousands and hundreds, and their officers that served the king in any matter of the courses, which came in and went out month by month throughout all the months of the year, of every course were twenty and four thousand. Over the first course for the first month was Yashobam the son of Zabdiel, and in his course were twenty and four thousand. Of the children of Perez was the chief of all the captains of the host for the first month, and over the course of the second month was Dodiah an Ahohite, and of his course was Miklot also the ruler. In his course likewise were twenty and four thousand. The third captain of the host for the third month was Benaiah the son of Jehoiada, a chief priest, and in his course were twenty and four thousand. This is that Benaiah, who is mighty among the thirty and above the thirty, and in his course was Amitzabad his son. The fourth captain for the fourth month was Asahel the brother of Joab, and Zebediah his son after him and in his course were twenty and four thousand. The fifth captain for the fifth month was Shamut the Itzrahite, and in his course were twenty and four thousand. The sixth captain for the sixth month was Ira the son of Ikesh the Tekoite, and in his course were twenty and four thousand. The seventh captain for the seventh month was Heletz the Pelonite of the children of Ephraim, and in his course were twenty and four thousand. The eighth captain for the eighth month was Sebekai the Hushathite of the Zadhites, and in his course were twenty and four thousand. The ninth captain for the ninth month was Abiatzer the Anetothite of the Benjamites, and in his course were twenty and four thousand. 
The tenth captain for the tenth month was Maharai, the Natophathite of the Zarhites, and in his course were twenty and four thousand. The eleventh captain for the eleventh month was Benaiah, the Parathonite of the children of Ephraim, and in his course were twenty and four thousand. The twelfth captain for the twelfth month was Heldai, the Natophathite of Othniel, and in his course were twenty and four thousand. Furthermore, over the tribes of Israel, the ruler of the Reubenites was Eliezer, the son of Zichri, of the Simeonites, Shephatiah, the son of Maachah, of the Levites, Hashabiah, the son of Kemuel, of the Aaronites, Zadok, of Judah, Elihu, one of the brethren of David, of Issachar, Omri, the son of Michael, of Zebulun, Ishmael, the son of Obadiah, of Naphtali, Yerimot, the son of Atzriel, of the children of Ephraim, Hoshea, the son of Azaziah, of the half-tribe of Manasseh, Yoel, the son of Padiah, of the half-tribe of Manasseh in Gilead, Edo, the son of Zechariah, of Benjamin, Yaasiel, the son of Abner, of Don, Azarel, the son of Yehoram. These were the princes of the tribes of Israel. But David took not the number of them from twenty years old and under, because the Lord had said he would increase Israel like to the stars of the heavens. Yoab, the son of Zeruiah, began to number, but he finished not because there fell wrath for it against Israel. Neither was the number put in the account of the chronicles of King David. And over the king's treasures was Atzmavet, the son of Adiel, and over the storehouses in the fields, in the cities, and in the villages, and in the castles, was Jehonathan, the son of Uzziah. And over them that did the work of the field for tillage of the ground was Etzri, the son of Kelub. And over the vineyards was Shimei, the Ramathite. Over the increase of the vineyards for the wine cellars was Sabdi, the Shifmite. And over the olive trees and the sycamore trees that were in the low plains was Baalhanan the Gedarite. And over the cellars of oil was Yoash. And over the herds that fed in Sharon was Shithrai the Sharonite. And over the herds that were in the valleys was Shaphat the son of Adlai. Over the camels also was Obiel the Ishmaelite. And over the asses was Yediah the Meronothite. And over the flocks was Yaziz the Hagarite. All these were the rulers of the substance which was King David's. Also Yonatan, David's uncle, was a counselor, a wise man, and a scribe. And Yehiel, the son of Hachmoni, was with the king's sons. And Ahithophel was the king's counselor, and Hushai the archite was the king's companion. And after Ahithophel was Jehoiada, the son of Benaiah, and Abiathar. And the general of the king's army was Joab. And David assembled all the princes of Israel the princes of the tribes, and the captains of the companies that ministered to the king by course, and the captains over the thousands, and captains over the hundreds, and the stewards over all the substance and possession of the king, and of his sons, with the officers, and with the mighty men, and with all the valiant men unto Jerusalem. Then David the king stood up upon his feet, and said, Hear me, my brethren, and my people. As for me, I had in mine heart to build an house of rest for the ark of the covenant of the Lord, and for the footstool of our God, and had made ready for the building. But God said unto me, Thou shalt not build an house for my name, because thou hast been a man of war, and hast shed blood. Howbeit the Lord God of Israel chose me before all the house of my father, to be king over Israel for ever. For he hath chosen Judah to be the ruler, and of the house of Judah the house of my father. And among all the sons of my father he liked me to make me king over all Israel and of all my sons, for the Lord hath given me many sons. He hath chosen Solomon my son, to sit upon the throne of the kingdom of the Lord over Israel. And he said unto me, Solomon thy son, he shall build my house and my courts, for I have chosen him to be my son, and I will be his father. Moreover, I will establish his kingdom for ever, if he be constant to do my commandments and my judgments, as at this day. Now therefore, in the sight of all Israel, the congregation of the Lord, and in the audience of our God, keep and seek for all the commandments of the Lord your God, that ye may possess this good land, and leave it for an inheritance for your children after you forever. And thou, Solomon my son, know thou the God of thy father, and serve him with a perfect heart and with a willing mind. For the Lord searcheth all hearts, and understandeth all the imaginations of the thoughts. If thou seek him, he will be found of thee, but if thou forsake him, he will cast thee off forever. Take heed now, for the Lord hath chosen thee to build an house for the sanctuary. Be strong, and do it. Then David gave to Solomon his son the pattern of the porch, and of the houses thereof, 
and of the treasuries thereof, and of the upper chambers thereof, and of the inner parlors thereof, and of the place of the mercy seat, and the pattern of all that he had by the Spirit, of the courts of the house of the Lord, and of all the chambers round about, of the treasuries of the house of God, and of the treasuries of the dedicated things, also for the courses of the priests and the Levites, and for all the work of the service of the house of the Lord, and for all the vessels of service in the house of the Lord. He gave of gold by weight for things of gold, for all instruments of all manner of service, silver also for all instruments of silver by weight, for all instruments of every kind of service, even the weight for the candlesticks of gold, and for their lamps of gold, by weight for every candlestick, and for the lamps thereof, and for the candlesticks of silver by weight, both for the candlestick, and also for the lamps thereof, according to the use of every candlestick. And by weight he gave gold for the tables of shewbread, for every table, and likewise silver for the tables of silver, and also pure gold for the flesh hooks and the bowls and the cups, and for the golden basins he gave gold by weight for every basin, and likewise silver by weight for every basin of silver, and for the altar of incense refined gold by weight, and gold for the pattern of the chariot of the cherubims that spread out their wings, and covered the ark of the covenant of the Lord. All this, said David, the Lord made me understand in writing by his hand upon me, even all the works of this pattern. And David said to Solomon his son, Be strong and of good courage, and do it. Fear not, nor be dismayed. For the Lord God, even my God, will be with thee. He will not fail thee, nor forsake thee, until thou hast finished all the work for the service of the house of the Lord. And, behold, the courses of the priests and the Levites, even they shall be with thee for all the service of the house of God. And there shall be with thee for all manner of workmanship every willing skillful man for every manner of service. Also the princes and all the people will be holy at thy commandment. Furthermore David the king said unto all the congregation, Solomon my son, whom alone God hath chosen, is yet young and tender, and the work is great. For the palace is not for man, but for the Lord God. Now I have prepared with all my might for the house of my God the gold for things to be made of gold, and the silver for things of silver, and the brass for things of brass, the iron for things of iron, and wood for things of wood, onyx stones, and stones to be set, glistering stones, and of diverse colors, and all manner of precious stones, and marble stones in abundance. Moreover, because I have set my affection to the house of my God, I have of mine own proper good, of gold and silver, which I have given to the house of my God, over and above all that I have prepared for the holy house, even three thousand talents of gold, of the gold of Ophir, and seven thousand talents of refined silver, to overlay the walls of the house with all, the gold for things of gold, and the silver for things of silver, and for all manner of work to be made by the hands of artificers. And who then is willing to consecrate his service this day unto the Lord? Then the chief of the fathers and princes of the tribes of Israel, and the captains of the thousands and of hundreds, with the rulers of the king's work, offered willingly, and gave for the service of the house of God of gold five thousand talents, and ten thousand drams, and of silver ten thousand talents, and of brass eighteen thousand talents, and one hundred thousand talents of iron. And they with whom precious stones were found gave them to the treasure of the house of the Lord by the hand of Jehiel the Gershonite. Then the people rejoiced, for that they had offered willingly, because with perfect heart they offered willingly to the Lord. And David the king also rejoiced with great joy. Wherefore David blessed the Lord before all the congregation. And David said, Blessed be thou, Lord God of Israel our Father, forever and ever. Thine, O Lord, is the greatness, and the power, and the glory, and the victory, and the majesty. For all that is in the heaven and in the earth is thine. Thine is the kingdom, O Lord, and thou art exalted as head above all. Both riches and honor come of thee, and thou reignest over all. And in thine hand is power and might, and in thine hand it is to make great, and to give strength unto all. Now, therefore, our God, we thank thee, and praise thy glorious name. But who am I, and what is my people, that we should be able to offer so willingly after this sort? For all things come of thee, and of thine own have we given thee. For we are strangers before thee, and sojourners, as were all our fathers. Our days on the earth are as a shadow, and there is none abiding. O Lord our God, 
all this store that we have prepared to build thee an house for thine holy name cometh of thine hand and is all thine own i also know my god that thou triest the heart and hast pleasure in uprightness as for me in the uprightness of mine heart i have willingly offered all these things and now have i seen with joy thy people which are present here to offer willingly unto thee o lord god of abraham isaac and of israel our fathers, keep this for ever in the imagination of the thoughts of the heart of thy people, and prepare their heart unto thee. And give unto Solomon my son a perfect heart, to keep thy commandments, thy testimonies, and thy statutes, and to do all these things, and to build the palace, for the which I have made provision. And David said to all the congregation, Now bless the Lord your God. And all the congregation blessed the Lord God of their fathers and bowed down their heads, and worshipped the Lord and the King. And they sacrificed sacrifices unto the Lord, and offered burnt offerings unto the Lord. On the morrow after that day, even a thousand bullocks, a thousand rams, a thousand lambs, with their drink offerings and sacrifices in abundance for all Israel, and did eat and drink before the Lord on that day with great gladness. And they made Solomon the son of David king the second time, and anointed him unto the Lord to be the chief governor, and Zadok to be priest. Then Solomon sat on the throne of the Lord as king, instead of David his father, and prospered, and all Israel obeyed him. And all the princes, and the mighty men, and all the sons likewise of King David, submitted themselves unto Solomon the king. And the Lord magnified Solomon exceedingly in the sight of all Israel, and bestowed upon him such royal majesty as had not been on any king before him in Israel. Thus David the son of Jesse reigned over all Israel. And the time that he reigned over Israel was forty years. Seven years reigned he in Hebron, and thirty and three years reigned he in Jerusalem. And he died in a good old age, full of days, riches, and honor. And Solomon his son reigned in his stead. Now the acts of David the king, first and last, behold, they are written in the book of Samuel the seer, and in the book of Nathan the prophet, and in the book of Gad the seer, with all his reign and his might, and the times that went over him, and over Israel, and over all the kingdoms of the countries, 